something big is happening at the south end of downtown Seattle. In a massive construction zone to the west of the city stadium, crews working for the Washington State Department of Transportation have spent more than a year preparing for the arrival of a very special guest. The world's largest diameter tunneling machine. Named Bertha, in honor of former Seattle Mayor Bertha Knight Landis, the machine will dig a tunnel to replace Seattle's Alaskan Way Viaduct, a double-deck section of State Route 99 that has stood along the city's downtown waterfront for more than half a century. A team of more than 300 workers has removed almost 86,000 cubic yards of soil to create a launch pit that is 80 feet deep. This is where Bertha will begin her journey beneath downtown this summer. So what's Bertha's story? Where did she come from and how did she get here? Osaka, Japan is home of Hitachi Zozen Corporation, one of the few facilities in the world capable of building a tunneling machine of this size. It took crews here about a year to build Bertha. A product of Northwest Vision and global expertise, the machine stands five stories tall and is 326 feet long. After rigorous testing, Bertha was carefully taken apart for shipment to Seattle. Of course, moving a big machine requires a big ship. Enter the Jumbo Fair Partner, the specialized vessel that carried Bertha on her 5,000 mile journey across the Pacific Ocean. Crews offloaded Bertha's 41 pieces at the Port of Seattle's Terminal 46 to the west of Seattle's stadiums. Her largest piece weighs nearly 900 tons. The pieces were moved by truck to a storage location in the nearby work zone. One by one, the pieces will be lowered into Bertha's launch pit for reassembly and testing, a process that takes about two months. Designed specifically for the ground conditions beneath Seattle, Bertha will move slowly at first, digging about six feet per day in the early section of the tunnel drive. By the time she gets beneath downtown, she'll dig up to 35 feet per day, removing thousands of cubic yards of rock and soil. An enclosed conveyor belt will carry excavated material out of the tunnel to barges waiting at the water's edge. The barges will take the soil to a disposal facility on the west side of Puget Sound. Every aspect of the tunneling machine and the project was developed with safety in mind. The project's tunneling experts have built similar tunnels all over the world and are using proven methods to ensure the project's success. Most of Bertha's tunneling will take place deep beneath downtown Seattle in terrain that is very dense and stable. Crews will constantly monitor ground conditions as they drive the machine forward. The monitoring process started long before Bertha arrived, when crews began examining and installing monitors on some 160 buildings above the tunnel route. These monitors will help the tunneling team detect even the slightest ground movement. Bertha's journey will end in 2014 in a receiving pit that is currently under construction at the north end of downtown. When the tunnel opens in late 2015, crews will demolish the remaining section of the viaduct, clearing the way for new public space along Seattle's downtown waterfront. Drivers traveling to or through downtown on SR-99 from either direction will have options, depending on their destination. They can head into the city on new surface roads, including a new street along the waterfront, or they can use the SR-99 tunnel to pass beneath downtown. Although the biggest changes are still to come, the transformation of the State Route 99 corridor is well underway. We invite you to learn more about WashDOT's work to replace the viaduct. Visit us at Milepost 31, our award-winning project information center in Seattle's Pioneer Square neighborhood. You can also follow our progress with online updates and on-site walking tours as the next chapter in the Alaskan Way Viaduct Replacement Project unfolds.